All right, so we're going to do one example. I mean, come on. When do I just do one example? I know. All right, we're going to simplify this expression, you know, just like we would simplify 27 over 60, something like that. You know, find a common factor that goes into both of them and then divide it out. That's what we're going to do here. All right. Uh, what we need to do first is factor the numerator and denominator. All right. So let me, uh, we're going to do a couple of steps here. Now the denominator, you could jump straight into the difference of squares, uh, three X minus nine, three X plus nine, but we need to factor out that GCF first. All right. We always want to do that. So on the bottom, they have a three in common, but they also have a nine in common. All right, so we're gonna factor out a nine. Uh, that's gonna become an X squared, and then nine times nine will give us 81. There we go. And then on the top, they have a three in common, all three terms, three, 27, and 54. Okay, three times nine will give us 27, and three times 18 will give us the 54. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and so the three and the nine notice that the three is connected to this, you know, this overall big piece it's connected by multiplication and so is the nine. So you can go ahead and simplify those fractions, All right? Three over nine would give you one third. So I don't even have to write the one really. All right. Uh, let's see here on top. Because it's a plus 18, we're going to have the same signs. And we want two numbers that multiply to 18 and add up to 9. So x and x. That's going to be 6 and 3. Those multiply to 18. They multiply to the last number and add up to 9. Uh, plus sign means they're the same signs. And the middle right here tells us that they are both minus. All right. And then x squared minus 9, this piece, is going to factor using difference of squares. So x times x gives us x squared. 3 times 3 gives us 9. 1 plus, 1 minus. Okay. Uh, last step here. Notice because you have a factor in the top and bottom, this x minus 3 and x plus 3. All right, you can cancel those factors. There's going to be an x minus 6 left up top and then a three X plus three in the bottom, All right? That's probably good for your answer there, but if you want to, you can distribute you know, three X plus nine, it's up to you. All right, thanks for watching. Let me get out of here.